Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of a neat new little brushed uh, micro FPV racer. Uh, why am I looking at bike brushed micro FPV racers? Well, these are still very, these are actually not very costly at all, folks. And if you want to get into FPV, this is the logical step to transition from uh, sport drones into FPV. I would recommend starting out with one of these. Uh, they only run a little bit more than 50 bucks, 60 bucks around that front. Uh, price range, you know, it's almost half, or in some most cases, it is half the price of a brushless uh, quad, or FPV quadcopter in the, at this size, uh, because you don't have the cost of the brushless motor and the ESCs that go with brushless FPV quadcopters. Now, this one here is the Ishin QX95S. Now, the QX95, the original QX95, has been out for a while, about a year, but this one is an upgraded version, and it's really the QX95 in name only. I mean, just about everything on this thing has been changed. And uh, I'm going to go over here shortly, the, all the features here. Notice I'm flying with the T8SG today. Uh, this comes available in Free Sky, Fly Sky, AFH, or AF, uh, DHS 2, 2A, you know what I'm talking about, uh, and DSM, DSM2 or DSM-2, DSM-X, and all of those different versions can be flown with the T8SG, and today I'm going to be flying it with the integrated, it's an integrated uh, receiver, by the way, for Fry, for FreeSky. Uh, it's integrated into the flight control board. Um, let's go over the differences and features of this between this and the QX95. Notice I got a big list here. There are so many changes to this that I had to make a list. <laughs> okay, first off, we'll start off with the flight control board. It's a F3 omnibus uh, loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.1. Uh, we have a 600 TVL camera, 25 milliwatt uh, transmitter, 48 channels, NTSC PAL. It is a different camera than the original. Notice I could tilt this thing, easily tilt it, so we can get those high speed forward flight. I am going to try to fly this high speed forward flight. We'll see how well it does. Um, Additionally, it has a beeper, it has OSD, on-screen display with the, this uh, particular quadcopter. Remember, the original did not have that. Um, we have plug-in motors. So, you know, we could swap these 8mm uh, motors out easily uh, and plug-in replacements. Um, we have, uh, let's see, the weight of this thing. Comparing this to the original, they're both about 40 grams. This one's actually a little bit heavier, 42 grams. I weighed it. Um, but uh, that shouldn't, I hope that doesn't affect it very much, but we'll find out here shortly. Um, one thing that's strange to me that I noticed here, this comes with bullnose props in the front, stock bullnose props in the front, and regular um, curve props in the back, although you get a complete set of replacements. If you want to change these back props to bullnose, you get two spare bullnose black props. If you want to change these uh, front to... Uh, these Hubson style props, you get two spare Hubson props. So you can convert this to full bullnose or full Hubson style props if you wish. Um, I don't know how they're really going to affect or why they did that. <laughs> I'm really not sure why they have two different style props on it, but they do. Uh, we got a nice LED strip on the back. It's been redesigned from the, well, you know, it's the same bright LED strip, but uh, the way it attaches is a uh, different attachment than the original QX95. It should hold on there a little bit better, I believe. Uh, again, we have uh, the USD connector on this. It is easily accessible as compared to the original. It was right behind the LED strip, so you had uh, to remove the LED strip, I guess, to uh, access that uh, USB port. Uh, we have improved battery. It's a high voltage battery, HV battery, and 450 milliamp hour at 30C. I don't know how well it's going to hold up in flight. We will find out here shortly. And uh, I think that's about it. Those are the main features of it. So we're going to plug this in, fire it up, and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I have this set up. Uh, the way I have it set up is this will be angle mode. This will be air mode. Let's see if I... Yep. Those, those propellers run in air mode. And this one here will be an acro. Um, I went into beta flight and changed this. I thought I also turned off the beeper, but I guess the beeper is set for both these off position and center position. Um, and bottom is armed all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to first start off in angle mode. And I'm not sure why that beeper is going off. It wasn't going off at home, but, but I, it seems to have a lot of pep. I want to bring it in close. We're going to do a um, punch. It's got good punch, actually, for a, a brushed motor quadcopter. 
Now again, I don't, I'm not sure why that paper's going off. It wasn't doing that at home. But let's bring it up in close, let you see it hovering in flight. This beeper's going off, but sorry about that, folks. We're going to live with that beeper for now. I'll figure it out when I get home. But really, <laughs> I guess I messed up the uh, beta flight settings for the beeper. So we're going to plop it there, and we're going to go right into Acro. So hold on, folks. I see what the problem is here. This is an HV, um, <laughs> HV battery, and its, its voltage was a little bit high there, and it didn't like that, I guess. When I uh, started up, it's below 4.1 volts now, or 4.2 volts. It should be, hopefully, uh, shut up here in a few minutes. So I am going to arm it. And we are selecting Acro. And let's take it up and see how it performs. I'm seeing quite a bit of jello. It's that camera mount. Um, that camera mount is, you know, it allows you to change it easily, but it wiggles. It wiggles quite a bit. <laughs> so, as ex you know, some expected that camera mount to be a problem, and it is in bright sunlight. You know, out here I fly in bright sunlight, so we're seeing jiggle. Let's go up and try that. Let's go around the pole and see if we got range. We got range. Um, let's go around us. Coming by us. Flies good. I'm gonna recommend though, you know, tightening up that mount to help uh, prevent this wiggle. Got quite a bit of wiggle. Okay. Let's see about range. Let's go over. See if we can fly over by the uh, garbage can. Fly around the garbage can, and we did. So we got range. Where are we at over there? Let's try speed. Let's put some punch on it. Or, not speed, not punch, but speed. Let's increase the throttle, increase the pitch. It moves. <laughs> I'll give you that. It can move. But, whoa, I'm not sure what happened there, folks. <laughs> Might need a little bit of tuning on those pids. Because <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's doing it again. So I'm going to be careful. These pids, I guess, do need a little bit of uh, adjustment. You make too hard of a turn, and it goes bonkers on me there. So pids need adjustment out of the box. I'm not down at 3.4 volts. Let's go to the right, go into the right, turn to the right. <laughs> I'm going over the tree. Oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> See that, that? It's got that wobble there when you try to turn too quickly. I, there's too much um, yaw. Sorry. I'm going to reduce the, doing the yaw. Let's go up again. Let's try again. So it could need some adjustment. You know, it, that's actually true, I guess, for a lot of these brushless squad copters. Out of the box, they're pids. <laughs> Need a little bit of tuning. So the two issues I see with it so far uh, is uh, the wobble. Let's try air mode. Don't turn too fast. Don't turn too fast. Air mode. Okay, I'm in air mode now. How's it doing in air mode? You can do a smoother roll. Going up again, smooth the roll, but meh. <laughs> so yeah, pids, pids need adjustment. I'm gonna be bringing it in now, folks. It's starting to get a little, uh, going to angle. Um, it's starting to get a little wobbly and my my battery's getting low. So let's land it and give them up, sum up my thoughts here. Let's see if I can get it on the pad. Uh, close enough there, <laughs> disarming. <laughs> so I will take the goggles back from my wife. Not goggles, camera, and disconnect that battery. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have to adjust that. See what the problem is. I think maybe my um, in the mode switches. I have the uh, beeper set up for the whole thing. But my thoughts on it: you get about three minutes flight time. I like the be being able to move the camera easily forward. However, you get a bit of a wobble. 
see it's a little bit loose there the way this camera is mounted and because of that wobble you get some jello um, the PIDs need adjustment out of the box uh, the, you know these PIDs the stock PIDs even though this is new one of the newer Betaflight versions um, when I give it a little bit too much yaw it would go a little bit wonky on me there so keep that in mind folks You're, I, you are probably likely going to need to adjust PIDs and I'm sure as this uh, gets promulgated to more people we'll get uh, more locked in PIDs available for everybody so I hope you enjoyed this flight this is Quadcopter 101 signing out. Thank you.